While the parties are switching to general election mode, there are still primaries to be held here in Michigan, and one of the most crowded races is for the position of Ingham County Prosecutor. The office was left vacant when Stuart Dunnings III resigned while awaiting trial on prostitution charges. Six people are running to replace him. Tonight, Fox 47's Ann Perrette introduces us to the four candidates on the Democratic side. All four Democratic candidates agree the prosecutor's office needs a new leader, and they're hoping for your vote this Tuesday. Brian Jackson worked with the Eaton County Prosecutor's Office and as an assistant city attorney for Lansing. He's currently a defense lawyer and tells me he's got some fresh ideas from his experience that he's hoping will turn the office around. One of the first things he'd do is go to jail for a day. I think that we should realize what we're doing and when we're putting people away, but I would also implement a restorative justice diversion program that concentrates on investing back into the community, into the victim to make him or her whole again, but also into the offender so that he or she is less likely to reoffend. Carol Seaman is also hoping to decrease recidivism rates. Seaman has a long list of experience, having spent 11 years as an assistant Ingham County prosecutor. During that time, she developed the first child abuse training program for prosecutors, police officers, and Children's Protective Services. She's also worked on legislation and for the State Court Administrative Office, a division of the Supreme Court. Seaman tells me her focus is on things like sentencing reform. In parts of it, I'd have a direct impact and other parts it would be more as a community leader. So it would mean looking at our, our charging decisions first, um, how the case is issued, does it get issued uh, as a warrant, does it go to a diversion program, are we going to recommend specialty courts. Patrick O'Keefe spent 10 years as an assistant prosecutor in both Kent and Ingham counties, but left in 2013 to form his own criminal defense firm. O'Keefe tells me that experience on both sides gives him a unique perspective and sets him apart from his fellow candidates. Candidates. If elected, he'd run the office like a law firm and bring Michigan's incarceration rate down. We've got to sentence people more intelligently. Michigan ranks fourth highest in our incarceration rate in the nation. To me, that's unacceptable. I believe that we can bring down our incarceration rates while also keeping the community safe, while also enforcing law and order in our community. Thomas English is the only candidate not originally from the area. He was born and raised in New Mexico, where he enlisted in the Army and served as a state police officer and homicide investigator while attending night school to get his law degree. English eventually became a federal prosecutor and federal social security judge. He moved to Ingham County 10 years ago and tells me his outside experience is what the office needs. The issue with integrity is to make sure that everyone in the office uh, deserves the respect of the public and returning that respect back to them. I've taken over offices in many different situations. I'm very accustomed to coming in and finding out what's broken, what needs to be fixed, and what's not broken and what does not need to be fixed and left alone. Ann Perrette, Fox 47 News. We'll have a look at the two Republican candidates running for the M County prosecutor position tomorrow night right here on Fox 47 News.